Our style is uh, talk more than talk less, uh, obviously. We really like to communicate with the players and the coaches, especially in the way that uh, we try to be part of the game. So we try to help them with this communication so that we are not strictly punishing, only punishing, but uh, we call it, it uh, like a preventional communication. So yes, uh, as, as is obvious, our style is uh, a little bit more talkative, uh, but uh, only until, until the point that uh, you have the, the, the player or coach that you can talk to, because when they start to abuse this, uh, this privilege that we can talk, uh, then, then, then we also stop to talk. Yeah. Like with everything in life, it's about balance, right? So you need to find the proper balance up to which level to go uh, or allowed, let's say, uh, this communication. And if it is over that, then obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, quite some research is done already on this uh, with uh, surveys of the coaches and so on on the different levels. And one of the actually key element here was uh, how to what they basically would uh, what it, uh, according to their opinion is the good refereeing style is if um, uh, referees are um, accessible, reachable towards them, that, so that uh, they um, are open for communication. So it's I think it's absolutely relevant. If they say so, then we have to respect that. And we must know that some of the situation that are boiling or that are something that you whistle and the coach whether didn't see or didn't uh, accept you can manage with the good communication so you tell coach i saw that this and this and this and then most of the time when you approach like a human being then they accept it and this is this is the way that you can manage them the match easier hmm. I think it's even more important that, uh, that the words, um, so uh, we can, 90% of communication goes through the, your body language anyhow, you know, even if we are not saying anything, uh, we, uh, we communicate certain message. Uh, however, this is perceived in different ways, but actually the communication is there, it's, uh, information is existing. And I, I, I think it's really extremely important and uh, it's also important that as a referee, you, we start to um, learn this as soon as possible with very simple techniques like watching yourself, let's say, in the mirrors when we were younger and so on. I, we, we, this was very early advice of uh, one of our mentors in the... But, uh, uh, we thought that it is quite stupid in the beginning, 20 years ago, but actually it's, it's really, uh, it's necessary, absolutely. And, and then, like you said, on the international level, when you come to uh, meet different cultures, uh, people from different, uh, speaking different languages, then it's even more important. Sometimes it's just, uh, let's say, English, uh, knowing English, so it's not enough. So you have to uh, uh, overcome that obstacle, yeah.